Hey everybody, it's Eric and Elder Field Reviews. Today we're in the office doing a review and kicking off our video review series of the best accessories that you'll want to consider picking up when you're talking about investing in a rising desk. After working for ourselves for over 10 years here in our home office, we decided to take the plunge this year and invest in two different rising desks. And we've discovered a lot of different accessories that help make our lives easier. And so again, today we're going to be doing the review on this Huanyu CPU holder. This is a computer case holder that can help you clear off some clutter on your desktop by mounting your computer case under your desk. We're going to do the review and unboxing today and show you a unique way that we're going to mount it to our rising desk. Let's check it out right now on Nailed or Failed Reviews. Hey everybody, thanks again for joining us today here in the office at Nailed or Failed Reviews. Again, this is our first video in a series of videos we'll be putting out very, very shortly on the best accessories that you'll want to consider picking up when you're talking about investing in a rising desk. Again, after working for ourselves for over 10 years and getting some more back pain and neck pain and you know just creaky cranky joints, we decided to take the plunge and invest in two different rising desks earlier this year at the beginning of 2020. So hit that subscribe button so you get those alerts when we come out with our review on this large L-shaped electronic rising desk as well as a manual smaller rising desk that we picked up locally for my wife that she uses down in her office. So again, we're gonna be doing this review on this Huanyo CPU holder because this is a really great accessory to pick up when you're talking about rising desks or really any type of desk to basically clear the tabletop, create some more space for yourself and just get that computer case out of the way you know, for this rising desk, this big L-shaped one that we use, we actually bought it for one reason. One of the reasons was because we wanted to do tabletop reviews here on this portion of it. But the computer case sits over here because when you buy a rising desk, you have to, anything that's going to be moving, you know, along with it has to be attached to it. So that means you have to attach your monitors to it. You more or less have to have your computer case uh, living on top of it somehow or if you can figure out a way to mount it under it, like with this Huan Yu CPU holder, you can do that and it'll really help you out. So that's what we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna do the unboxing and show you the parts and pieces that, the, that this comes with. And then again, we're gonna show you the a unique way that we're gonna mount it under our desk today. It's not you, you know, approved by the company in any way, but it's gonna work out for us and we're gonna show you how to accomplish that later on. Let's get to the unboxing and show you guys what this thing is. Okay, when you first get this Huanyu CPU holder in, you're gonna notice thing right off the bat and that it is its weight because this is a piece of steel here that's made to hold, I believe it's around 22 pounds. Don't quote me on that because there's actually, it's not published here in the manual to tell you what the weight limit is. Uh, but basically I, I thought I read somewhere that it was around 22 to 25 pounds. So be aware of that, that you are not gonna wanna put a ginormous thing in here. It is sort of limited on the size of computer cases that it can hold as far as the height goes. And so I'll show you that first accessory or that first adjustment on here right now is what you just saw me do is they have sort of a pull uh, tab here that will let you adjust the height of this, okay? So if you have a smaller tower or if you have a bigger tower, you're gonna be able to use this to accommodate that size. The next thing you're gonna notice is that on the bottom part where your computer case actually sits, it's kind of a weird shape, okay? It's not like a big platform like you think it might be to just say, you know, cradle whatever you're putting in there. It's actually sort of got a little cutout in here and it's raised up. So depending again on the shape of your computer case, if you have feet under it, uh, you know, on my computer case, we actually have a uh, filter uh, opening for the uh, power supply to pull in air and it has a filter that's removable. So I'm not sure if that's gonna get in the way, but it, uh, I'm thinking I can move my case back far enough to clear that. So be aware that, you know, this you know, may not fit really fat cases. If you have a cube case style or something like that, it may not fit that. The also, it comes with this piece here that is, this is what's gonna secure your computer case. So you can see that will slide in just like that based on the width that you have. So it can go all the way in like that, or it can go all the way out to, you could say right there, if you wanted to just use one screw. And they include these um, little thumb screws here to 
to adjust that, all right? So that's basically what the main portion of this is as far as if it's, its adjustability. When you talk about mounting on this thing, there's a few different ways that it's meant to mount, and surprisingly, it's meant to mount on the wall, okay? So number one, that's what you're gonna see on the back side. As you can see, we have a little bit of a standoff here and some keyholes uh, up here and then two regular screw holes down here. So it's actually meant to screw to a wall. They do give you some uh, drywall screws and uh, you know the little thingies you gotta put into the drywall. The other way that it's meant to mount is with this top piece here, and this is how it is traditionally meant to mount when you're talking about mounting it under your desk, tabletop, whatever you're using for a desk. So you can see here, it's just a big old plate and it actually rotates. So it's meant that if you have room under the desk, where you're, wherever you mount this, that if you wanted to, you could uh, technically rotate it. I don't know if you actually want to do that with, you know, the wires and the cables that are usually coming out of com people's computers, <laughs> you know, so I'm not sure how useful uh, actually, you know, using this pivot will be. All right, so before we get this mounted, I wanna show you guys what it's gonna look like on your computer case and give you some measurements so that you can go out and measure your case in case you have a filter under the bottom, on the bottom part, all right? So number one is its size. And so we're looking at my computer case here, and this is a mid-sized tower, just for reference, and it's 16 inches deep. Now the filter itself runs from the back forward seven inches. So I'm just telling you that because there's a lot of these cases out there that have the power supply at the bottom nowadays, and they actually have included a removable filter to, so that the, you know, the power supply can pull in air. And you, you, know, you don't wanna set all your computer case weight on top of that filter, it'll just crush it. So again, 16 inches is my case depth, the seven inches from back to forward is the size of the actual filter. And so I wanted to show you the measurement of this bottom part here. It's about three and three quarter inch uh, wide, and then it is five and three quarter inches uh, deep. So going you know back along the same way as your computer case, it's gonna be five and three quarter inches to hold that. So again, if you are wondering if it's gonna fit, you know, I can slide it under there still, and my computer case sort of has these long feet on there, and it's, I'm able to avoid it as well as the filter. You know, it's not going to be sitting centered on here, um, but because of the way that we're mounting this to uh, metal to the framework of this table, it should be able to hold just fine. So again, the way that we're mounting it is not approved by Huanyo, so just be aware of that. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out was that, again, once you get it, um, your computer case in here, it's not gonna be f sitting fully flush with the top because they have these pre-mounted or pre-drilled holes in here. It can only lock in at certain positions. So depending on your case height is going to, you know, dictate where that goes and it's not going to be completely, possibly completely against the top of it. That's why they have this extra piece here so that you can put it in and then wedge all of that together just like that. So. That's what it's gonna look like. And just for reference, again, for some measurements, you're talking about the smallest case it can take. That would be 11 and a quarter. And the tallest, they have a stop here that stops it from just coming apart. Tallest case would be 20 and a half. Yeah, 20 and a half. So pretty good size range there to actually accommodate this. And again, we're gonna be drilling a couple holes in here and mounting it with these uh, number 12 metal to metal threaded screws that are gonna self tap into the metal. And that should be a really secure mount. This is uh, you know, meant to mount under a desk, like I said earlier, but I just wanted to point out a few things about that, that if you're gonna be mounting this, screwing it into the underside of your desk, definitely you know, check out your desk. Like this one here, this is less than an inch thick MDF. It's painted white and it's not gonna hold a lot of uh, weight. And there's, you know, the majority of desktops are made of this cheap MDF wood. And if you have, you know, if you put too heavy of a case in here, you definitely could overwhelm those screws and that MDF and it could just rip right out. So be aware that you need to take into account the thickness of your desktop and making sure that you have 
the proper length screws. That okay guys, so I wanna show you the mounting because there was a few things I forgot to point out when you're talking about doing this under, especially something like one of these desks that has all these frameworks under it for the motors and whatnot. And that's basically if there is other stuff in the way once you actually have your computer case up in position because once I put mine up there, which I thought it fit, but I didn't double check it, it was running into this and it was running into this. And so I had to reconfigure the way that I was gonna mount this. And again, you know, you shouldn't be afraid that if you guys buy something to drill some holes in it to make it mount, you know, exactly where you want to. Uh, but be aware again that if you do that, you are gonna avoid the warranty. So what I wanted to point out though, is that if you take that top uh, pivot piece off, you'll see that there it has three holes in the top here to actually adjust that position so that if you are mounting it somewhere and it's banging into something, you could possibly offset it a little bit so that it'll actually fit where you want it to. So instead of like what I said originally, you know, my plan was to actually just screw this up here just like this, but because of the way that this frame hangs down um, and like I said, there's these other things in the way, my computer case won't go in there unless I put it out here in the open and I don't really want to do that. I want it back here in the corner so that I don't hear the fan noise or, you know, and it's just out of the way. So what we're going to do is I've modified the top plate. I'm going to go back to using that top uh, spinning plate. I drilled a couple extra holes in it that were narrower and we're going to mount it right to the framework right there. So that's going to mount right there again with those self tapping number 12 machine screws. And then you have to, you know, you want to take this off of here to make sure it just fits and uh, double check yourself. So, you know, don't be afraid again to do that. And then you can put it back together and those two pieces will come apart that hold the tower. And then that way it'll allow you to, um, you know, turn this and actually bolt this up there and then get that all assembled. So let's get this screwed down and get this video moving. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the installation. Now, again, the way that we install this on our rising desk, you know, drilling in to the frame of our desk and drilling some extra holes into the bracket of the CPU holder, you know, definitely not uh, something that the companies, either companies are going to say they want you to do. So just be aware that if you do something like that, you'll more than likely void the warranty. But I think it turned out really well. As you can see here, we've got our case up off the ground. It's actually connected to the frame of the desk so anytime this goes up and down it's connected metal to metal it's not actually screwed to the wood uh, tabletop if you will it's actually screwed to the metal framework that makes up uh, the whole desk that this tabletop sits on so super secure and I really like the way that it turned out you know raised the computer off the uh, ground it cleared up my uh, desktop up here to you know have no cables sitting around and to just have more room to do whatever I'm doing. The really nice thing about using these with a rising desk is like you see here is that it takes all the cables and gets them up off the ground. And you know, some of these rising desks, you can actually get a little cradle to attach to it and contain all of your uh, cables and all your plugs and everything in your power strip. And this way, combining that with this is going to be a great way. As you can see here, it looks nice and clean. All of our cables are up off the ground. I got a little maintenance to do with, you know, zip tying some of these together and getting them tucked up under there, under there. Uh, but I really like the way that it turned out. So again, you know, based on, you know, what type of desktop you're going to be screwing this to, just be aware that you want to take into account the thickness of your desktop and make sure that you're using proper screws 
depending on the weight of your uh, computer case. So that's really important so you don't, you know, come in there and one day things are sitting on the ground. So hopefully this helps you guys figure out if you want to purchase something like this. Again, please help support the channel by purchasing through our affiliate links down below. Like if you like and subscribe for those other video alerts where we're going to be coming out with the reviews on the manual and electric standing desk, as well as the other accessories that you're going to want to pick up if you are investing in a standing or rising desk. Thanks for watching Nailed or Failed Reviews.